Well folks, uh, this is the second video talking about our uh, Kinex elevator with an Arduino driving a Stepper 4.2. Uh, I'll go over the electronics a little bit if you didn't see the first video. Uh, we have an Arduino driving a Stepper driver, the 4.2. Uh, both of these items were purchased at sparkfun.com. Uh, I've got a 12 volt battery that drives the stepper motor or provides power to the stepper motor. I've made some push buttons here that I got at Radio Shack. There are four buttons. We're only going to be using three, the top three. Uh, we have the computer just to kind of monitor what's going on. Here's the stepper motor, and that's connected via a string to a series of pulleys that attach to our elevator car. Now you may notice if you watch the last video that uh, Polly Pocket and her puppy are missing. Uh, sadly, Polly Pocket was involved in a horrendous industrial accident and uh, was chewed to death by a little black and white dog. So she's not in the photo today. We've got a little weight in there to help stabilize the, the elevator so it doesn't swing so much. I've got some brass rods that go up and down the sides. Now in the last video I talked about I wanted to add some infrared sensors and we've done that. And the sensors are mounted on the end of the connects. Uh, I use duct seal which is like a real sticky type of clay material to actually hold the sensors in place. I've got those wired in and their purpose is to tell me where the car is at in the shaft. And you can see I've got a little white card mounted onto the side of the car that uh, reflects the infrared light and tells the car where it's at. So, I'll go ahead and give you a little demonstration here. The car's on the first floor, so we'll go ahead and hit the second button. And you'll notice that the car goes up to the second floor and stops and waits for further instructions. And you can see how the infrared card is, uh, or the card is making the infrared uh, sensor do its job. I'm going to go ahead and hit the third button and we'll send the car up to the third floor. And now I've decided I want to go back to the first floor. And that's how that works. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up of the gear system rolling. We'll go ahead and send it back up to the third floor. And now a picture of the motor. Come off to the side a little bit. Now send her back down to one. But I was very happy with the way the project turned out. Uh, my first program that I wrote to make it do that, the car would go up and as soon as it got to where it was supposed to be it would immediately come back down and I figured out that I had written some things wrong in the program and I had if statements following each other so as soon as it got done with one if statement when that was true it would go right to the next one and, and it was just sending the car back to where I would sent it from. But uh, I fixed that. I don't know much about posting the code. I'll look into that to see if there's some way I can do that. Uh, if you need it, I can email it to you. If you give me an email address if you're interested. But that is the Connex elevator with an Arduino controlling a 4.2 stepper driver from SparkFun. You guys have a good day.